The Atlas will be offered in five different trim levels, we understand that none of them will be badged sport, and priced for the heart of the competitive SUV market, VW says. The interior is essentially the facade writ large, with the driver and front passenger placed before a broad, flat, rather uninteresting dashboard. All Atlases will feature integration of Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Mirror Link. VW's reconfigurable digital screen that replaces analog gauges, called Digital Cockpit, Think Audi Virtual Cockpit, is on the options list, as is a 12-speaker Fender audio system that VW claims is the most sophisticated Fender system yet to appear in one of its vehicles. Also offered will be a slew of driver assistance features, including adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, automated emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, rear traffic alert, and lane departure warning with steering assist. There's also post-collision braking, which applies the brakes when a crash is detected, helping reduce the risk of a secondary collision, according to VW. The Atlas will seat 7 with its 3 across second row seat, while second row captain's chairs that reduce capacity to 6 people are likely to be on the options list. As we noted during our drive of a camouflaged prototype over the summer, sitting inside is more like sliding into a car than climbing into an SUV. The rather long rear doors, plus a clever folding rear seat, facilitate access to the two-person third row even with a child seat installed in the second. VW says it designed the third row so that two adults can fit with a monicum of luggage behind them, an effort that seems to have paid off, based on our experience on the early drive. The 2018 Atlas will be available with two engines, neither of which are diesels. A 238 horsepower. <laughs>